what's up guys um, sorry for the week delay with all this COVID-19 stuff going on it kind of it kind of messed me up man it's it's trying to get in a new routine um the only thing that has changed for us is our bars are closed and and they've been closed for I want to say it's been over 20 days now um it's almost been a month so yeah, um, me and my wife are extremely lucky that, oh, that was a big bump, that uh, both of us are still working and, you know, able able to make a living. There's there's a lot of friends and stuff that, uh, you know, not able to make a living in it and it kind of sucks for them and, and everybody else. So anybody and everybody that's with a restaurant right now, you know, anything similar to that of ours so-and-so is out but um, I hope all you guys are doing okay and you know reach out to me um, we can we can definitely help with anything and everything we can uh, what we've found is is that you know a lot of people are like shipping supplies and stuff uh, which is good this guy is really gonna make me angry if he's going to the same spot I am but yeah, so every day that I have been coming home, slowly it's been, look like it's been busier. Um, I don't think, I think people here have gotten to the point where they're getting tired of it and they're getting out. So um, yeah, I don't, I don't know how much it's going to last any longer as far as people staying in and, and whatnot, but um, I know that here in Tennessee I guess we're supposed to peak on the 12th or 15th or something like that so I don't know if once we go out and you know is is any of that gonna change is is are they gonna just turn back on the world in the United States overnight or is it gonna be a slow process but um, yeah I don't know I don't know we'll see how that goes um, I fear that it's gonna take longer and they're slowly going to open things up, which is going to suck. I think if they don't get things going by the 5th, or excuse me, they don't get things going by the 1st of May, uh, I think we're screwed <laughs> uh, society-wise as far as an economy in the United States. Uh, we're, we're worker bees here in, in America, man, and to just turn off the engine, it... it will take a while to get going and, and there'll be casualties um, businesses and you know most most Americans live paycheck to paycheck most businesses can't last more than a month and they gone so um, but that's that's kind of all I wanted to really say about the COVID stuff man um, I'll, I'll throw in some footage uh, in the middle here of our little lot session that we had on Sunday. Any any last words? <laughs> this ain't the first time. Oh, okay. No, no, they. <laughs> that was a little sketchy. Yeah, well, you, 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 you
<laughs> Just pogoed it on the rear wheel. <laughs> it's spinning bad out here, dude. Whew. Need to calm down for a second. <laughs> But yeah guys thanks for the support hopefully you enjoyed this video like comment subscribe share with your buddies i can see the uptick i can see the people at home watching youtube videos so i'm gonna keep making this content guys uh keep helping you guys out with installs keep getting these wheelies down and keep growing this community man uh to me they're the they're the best harley davidson's in the world is this particular motorcycle that is built to ride and look cool at the same time so there we go <laughs> yeah i think it was that pavement at that lot i don't know it seemed slick or it may have just been me and my dehydrated body <laughs> appreciate the support guys like comment and subscribe go check my boys out at purposefieldmotorcycles.com use discount code trip hd at checkout and we'll see you guys on the next one take it easy appreciate the support